the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, they finally have handed down a jail sentence mm-hmm. for uh, Carolyn Ellison, who was Sam Bankman Freed's girlfriend and C. I think she was a CFO of the crypto exchange FTX that got uh, shut down last year. Okay. What, what did they get shut down for? Uh, fraud. Ponzi scheme. Uh, using much? customers' money. Mm-hmm. That was the one where all the celebrities endorsed them, like Tom Brady and others, and then hey, and good, then good, YouTubers, good, good. and then they ended up being a giant sham. I figured you'd know that. For the people at home who might not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, I mean, they basically were running like a Ponzi scheme where they were using customers' money for stuff. They weren't backing up assets. And he's, he's currently in prison. He is in prison. And we'll get, well, there's a funny little caveat to that story as well. So they defrauded customers out of billions of dollars. Like, you know, I think they ended up paying some of it back. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so, I mean, they did billions in dollars of fraud. Now, and I think that she sung a little bit. You know, she, she you know, worked to put him in, him behind bars, Sam Bankman-Fried, who was like the, uh, the head. So she snitched. She snitched. Okay. Cool. Sung, snitched. Good. She snitched um, a little bit. <clears throat> so she ended up getting... Two years in prison. Get the you know she snitched. That's clear snitchery. Yeah, snitchery dickery doc. Like, I don't even remember what Sam Bankman Freed got, but it was a long time. Yeah, and uh, he's in like in the big prison. The yeah, big yeah, boy, he's rich in, guy he's prison, in big boy prison. So, uh, yes, he she got two years. That's insane. And like they were saying, like the guy who created the Silk Road website back in the yeah. day that did all like the drug drug stuff, mm-hmm. he got like life sentences for for what he did. Yeah. And then she she gets two years for defrauding. And then it says here she wore a wire, set him up. I don't know what she, I don't know if she did all that. I, I honestly I kind of feel like if you're living off of the uh, the gains of that type of behavior, and you're just like, oh, I didn't know where the money was coming from. I didn't realize. This kind of feels a little iffy. And even when you know the cops come to you and they're like, look, we got you for longer. If she wasn't involved, she's going to be like, I will cooperate. Oh, no, they caught go- everybody red handed. Like, she was guilty as hell. Oh, she was guilty. Oh, as yeah, hell. she was guilty as hell. Oh. Like, they found, they, they arrested her with everyone else. Yeah, I would like to see how somebody who was even more involved or less involved in her, what their sentences look like. Yeah, I don't Not know. Be man. a comparison, but, but regardless, it's a very light sentence. And then it says Ridiculous. she had to forfeit about $11 billion. <laughs> you won't say. Yeah. The $11 billion you stole from people? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, so they uh so I thought that was uh pretty wild. That's a very <laughs> low amount of time. Like they don't you know, of course they don't put out like what she's saying about, but like Look, look, I'm gonna keep it like this, man. Two years seems like it ain't a lot of time, but eleven billion dollars is a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talking about this two years. I'm, the real story is this chick gave up eleven billion dollars. I mean, man. She we, comes back to what? Does she get any of it? I probably. I'm, dude, I'm sure she's going to have some money. I mean, like, here's probably the thing. hidden here's or in thing. assets or something. Maybe. They say crime doesn't pay. It do. <laughs> but it do. Even, if you, even if you make a lot of money from doing crime and they catch you, yeah. they don't take it all. You just lose some freedom for a bit. And then you get out and you got some money. Like, you don't get all the money. Yeah, I would say she, I would be I would be shocked if she doesn't have at least a million dollars at the end of it. Like when she comes out, I'm sure she's still going to be a millionaire. Oh, okay. Like she's not going to come out and be working at Wendy's for forty thousand no. dollars a year. If anything, I figure she's going to be able to kind of launder and liquidate some stuff, hide money with relatives. There's always somebody that has something. Like if you've been giving people, if you have eleven billion dollars, somebody that you've been helping out has enough money where you can you're going to be on your feet when you get out. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. I mean, just like assets. I mean, if she bought houses Man. and cars and stuff, they can't take all of it because like she she earned a salary. I'm sure the eleven billion dollars isn't cash. It's probably included in the. Assets oh yeah, probably in like yeah. She probably had like a, a. Well, they were all like living in the Bahamas, having like orgies and all this weird stuff, and they're all just like they're all just like and they're all like super like nerdy like. Yo man, 
What is it with rich people in these sex parties, fam? What is this, man? <laughs> well, speaking of sex parties, I mean, I guess if you're that rich, what else you got to do? What's the What's the dude who has like his own cult on an island? Dennis Leary? No, you know who I'm talking about. No, there was a, a an island cult. <laughs> yeah, David Lee Roth. No, it's something like that though. I have it's, no idea who you're talking about. Uh. I can't think of his name, but you know, you know who I'm talking about. What did about. he do? Where, like, what was his thing? I don't know. That was yeah. like that movie we watched. That was a weird movie with Channing Tatum. Oh, the uh, Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> what? The f- are <laughs> no, you it's called. About? Uh, I don't even. I'm no, no. Oh, blink twice. Blink twice. There you oh, go. So, anyways, the funny part about that yeah. is Diddy has been moved. Into, they said, like a dorm-style bunk with Sam Bankman freed Oh, so they're in the same place. So they're oh. in the same jail, and they supposedly are sharing a, like a, a dorm-based jail, uh, jail cell. So it's like they're just talking about their sex parties, man. They're like, hey, man, let me tell you about this party. He's like, let me tell you about my party. And uh, They probably were at a bunch of the same parties. It, uh, I mean, to be completely honest, that's probably the safest place for Diddy. Jared Leto. Oh, he has a sex cult? He has his own cult, by the way. Oh, okay. His own cult island. Okay. All right. Anyway. That's what Blink Twice was based off of. Yeah, I mean, kind um, of, honestly. He, dude, Jared Leto has became a very interesting man as like as he's gotten older. He's into like that tantric, holistic, like, you know, just like hippie-ish. He just sits up there and some, just let's some... hold hands till we nut. <laughs> yeah, so he just has his own <laughs> island where he's just like cucking everybody's wives. Husbands. I mean... Cucking their husbands, yeah. yeah. I mean, both. Probably. Yeah, probably. You never but, know. But uh, so, but yeah, I would think that's the safest place for Diddy because Sam Bankman Freed is not doing anything to anybody. What does that mean? He's not. He's not an aggressive man. What, why does? Why he's, would anybody be aggressive to him? Or to to, to 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 Diddy? Why would anybody be aggressive to Diddy? Because they can. Oh, you're saying if he was putting Gen Pop, like, yeah, this he's is just Oz out there at Gen Pop. Yeah, like, this is sixty days in, they're just gonna put Diddy and Gen Pop, and he's gonna be out there just like, all right, I gotta fight for myself tonight. Yeah, eating, <laughs> eating lunch at the metal table. He's no. like T Bone is really getting on my nerves, bro. He's a millionaire. He paid his lawyers millions of dollars to make sure he got into the same Samuel Bankman Freed yeah suite. So, but what I thought was really funny about like this rolls into the Diddy stuff is that. His lawyer came out with a statement about the thousand bottles of lube. Wait, why are we keep all right? Yeah. I so, like it. so out of all, all the fact. everything mm-hmm, mm-hmm. St- releases a statement saying that he buys his he they blamed <laughs> they blamed Costco. They blamed Costco. Because they were like, Did he buy his lube in bulk? Fair. So but here's the thing. I, I I have a Costco membership. They don't sell a thousand of anything they in don't a sell, box. They don't sell bulk lube. You can buy have multiple you, boxes. You can buy one box. Why why do you need a thousand if you can buy one box of fifty? Maybe he meant that he look. If you look at the box and it says it's a a, a hundred count, and you're like, no, I need a hundred, and you thought it said ten count. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, well, that price seems about right. I got a funny story about that. Somebody got fired for that, man. So Costco came out with a statement yeah. after this because they blamed Costco. Yeah. Costco came out with a statement that said. What Costco say? None of our none of our thousand stores sell baby oil. Baby oil? Because that's what it was. It was a thousand bottles of baby oil. In oh, there. wait. We thought, I thought it was this freaking wet platinum. I mean, it's basically <laughs> all the <laughs> I'm so, like, but Costco's like, no, dog, we don't sell baby oil. Sorry. What was this baby oil? One? Baby that's oil and lube. That's, yeah. Why he, do you need that much baby oil? That's kind of wacky. I mean, people use baby oil as lube. It's like mineral oil. I mean, I, yeah, I get, yeah, but why? Yeah. Hmm. I'm guessing he was having baby oil wrestling parties. But th- the thing is, is that you, you, you can do different things with lube than you can with baby oil. Like, you, lube is just used for, you know... But baby oil, I picture like people greasing themselves. Well, yeah, up they're having like baby oil, oil wrestling. Yeah, so like, that that just like gives me a whole nother realm of implications. So they're all covered in it. They're just like, yeah. it's like he puts down a tarp. He has yeah. a baby oil room. <laughs> you just go in and they're throwing baby oil over each other. Yeah, like this is now we're getting weird. All right, so I need to know what to distribute. They really should have specified. There's the a thousand bottles. 
Seventy percent lube, thirty percent baby. I don't know. They so didn't. now you know what he's into more. Yeah. Like you, we obviously need more baby oil because I want to see more oiled up people, <laughs> right? <laughs> than the lube. Right? So real quick before we go, so you said that you think you order something and you get a lot more. So you know, like uh, the post office has those uh, those you can order like those prepaid boxes, and you can you can go you can go to the post office and get them for free. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, you used to be able to, like, online be like, hey, I want some boxes. And the post person would bring them to your house. So I was like, okay, I need 20 boxes. <clears throat> Homeboy brought a stack of 20 sets of boxes. I opened, my, I opened my door, and I was like, what the is this? It was literally <laughs> – they brought them. It was like three and a half foot off the ground box stacks of boxes i was like at the time i was like selling some old dvds and stuff on ebay this is like a long time ago and uh i was like i'm never gonna get rid of these i'm you, never gonna financially recover from so this. so you just kept the boxes uh, i i probably threw them away no took them to the goodwill took them back to the post office See, now just imagine if you had done the same thing but it was lube and baby oil then you're just like, oh, I'm stuck with all this lube I'm and baby oil. God damn it. I needed 100 boxes, and I got 1,000 yeah. boxes. Now you have a lifetime supply of lube and baby oil. <laughs> Diddy needs it. Or so. maybe, you know, a month. Uh, yeah, month <laughs> supply. He's like, that was just for tomorrow night's party, y'all. Anyways, uh, that's all time for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.